that's very interesting and very excited about is Broadway is back in town, courtesy of Des Moines Performing Arts over at the Civic Center. We're talking about Finding Neverland. Let me move my hand there. But before we meet a member of the current touring cast, we want to look a little bit behind the scenes of this fabulous production from some of its creators. Have a look. I think everybody has a connection to Peter Pan, but what's special about Finding Neverland is it tells the story behind the story. So you get to see the trials and tribulations of what we now know is a, a great work of art that has changed all of our lives. But the road and journey to that creation was filled with challenges. And I think everybody loves to learn um, the backstory. It's about the human spirit. It's about love, it's about loss, it's about imagination, it's about dreaming and flying and knowing that whatever is possible is possible. We just have to believe. This show is about that. It's inspiring, it's uplifting, and I always say it, it brings out the child within you, no matter how deeply buried it is somehow it gets released in the show. What has amazed me is I've seen kids, seven and eight years old, leaning forward in their chair, uh, calling out the characters they recognize from Peter Pan. I see the parents of those kids um, moved by the story of what a child has to learn in growing up and how we all find resilience through tough times, which is what this show charts. You know, all of us, in this creative process have tapped our inner child um, to remember what it feels like to be free and to play and to be a kid again. We created Neverland, and Neverland is a magical place that seems to be changing people's lives. And there is a look at Finding Neverland, and we're very excited to have a, a person that's in the ensemble and also plays Miss Jones mm -hmm. in Finding Neverland, now in town for performances at Des Moines Performing Arts Civic Center. Kelsey Seaman, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, Finding Neverland, we saw a, kind of an awesome powerhouse of women that are yes. helped create this and put this together on the stage. But if we have no idea of what the show is about, kind of give us an idea of what we can see if we head to the Civic Center tonight. So my summary would be that it is about how J.M. Barry created Peter Pan. So you see everyone who was in his life at that time, and you see kind of how he might have based this character off of this person in his life, or what inspiration he had. So it's really cool to see how it all, how it all got started and how he found that magic in his life. So kind of taking things from his life to create what yes. we now know as the Peter Pan story, mm -hmm. uh, which is absolutely wonderful. I hear it's absolutely gorgeous uh, what happens it's on stunning. stage. It's like some of the most beautiful technical elements that I've ever been a part of in a production. So it's really, it's exciting as an actor in the show. Can you give us any sneak peeks? It, obviously, when you think Peter Pan, you have to think, you know, mm -hmm. Captain Hook and the ship. Oh and, yeah, he's there. And, and uh, the various adventures that Peter Pan went on with maybe mermaids, things like that. Are, are we getting all, uh, all, all of those things? All are of in those it. things are there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Besides uh, <laughs> some wonderful colors and just taking you through the imagination, but also based off the things that actually happened, correct, to create the story of Peter mm -hmm. Pan. So you meet you meet the family that J.M. Barry interacted with during that time that he was writing Peter Pan. So you see how he got that inspiration from those four boys and how he found that youth again to write about. Peter Pan, yeah. there you go. Okay, so now a lot of people might be thinking, okay, 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 I know obviously the story of Peter Pan, but I've also seen the movie. Is this basically the same idea of what we're gonna see? So I would say that it is it is somewhat based on the movie. Okay. Um, but I'll say I'll say more magic. More magic. is added. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay, more magic. Okay, Miss mm -hmm. Jones. Uh, when and where are we going to see you on the stage when we head out to see the show? So tonight we are at the well, we're at the Civic Center for right. four, performances. four performances. Tonight at seven thirty. Tomorrow at two and seven thirty, and then. A matinee. A matinee on yeah, Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And when does your character come into play? Oh, second scene of the of the first show oh. of the first act. Okay, good. <laughs> second scene. Boom. You'll see. I'm a part of the acting company that J.M. Barry 
is putting on the play with. So okay. that's who Miss Jones is. Okay. Yeah. So have to look for your beautiful face. Okay. So mm -hmm. what made you want to be a part of this show? Other than I'm a, a performer that uh, wants to be working right now. Why were you drawn to this particular musical? It feels it feels really special to be a part of every night. It feels like I have a connection to my family and to my inner child every night. And that's really exciting for me right now at this age of transition to just have that magical place to be and just kind of escape it all. Absolutely. It's really great. So uh, you've been touring for a while. Uh, yeah, about three months. Three months. Got six months left. Nice. Uh, any yeah. exciting stories or things that uh, you want to share with us about uh, being a performer on the road? Oh my gosh. Well, you find food where you can. <laughs> Don't worry. We got you handled. Yeah. We got great places sometimes to eat here. Sometimes it's McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> no, it's really great. Um, and sometimes just even just looking out the window on the bus on those long eight hour bus rides. You just look out the window and you kind of realize, like, I don't think I ever thought I would see this. Mm -hmm. I never thought I would see these places, and so it's so exciting. First time in Des Moines? Yes. Absolutely. Yep. Welcome. Very, uh, we appreciate having you here. And Thank I, you. I, I think you're a great representation if people are out there are wanting to be a part of the theater community and uh, invest in this. You're a proven example of someone graduating and now in mm -hmm. uh, a professional touring show. Yeah. Uh, a wonderful experience there. Okay, so we saw some wonderful humans, some pirates, some other things on our screen there uh, a few moments ago. Let's talk about a couple other characters that you're going to see, like in the form of a dog. Oh, yes, you will see um, this wonderful dog. His name is Sammy, Sammy. in real life. In real life, Sammy. Okay. Um, he plays Porthos in the show, which was J.M. Barry's dog. Um, okay. And he is wonderful. I mean, he's the only cast member who has been with this show since the first tour. Okay. So, so it's the first he knows, tour. and sometimes, you know, he knows certain commands to follow on stage, and sometimes he will hear the music and he'll know that he has to go. He'll tell his trainer, Mel, he'll like look at her and be like, I gotta enter. I gotta go. I gotta do my show. <laughs> and he gets the most applause at the end of the show. Oh, of course. And well, look at that. Face. And he, he deserves it. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's Sammy. So look yes. for Sammy. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So Finding Neverland, only four opportunities to see this incredible production. If you want to see how Peter Pan truly came to life, uh, they're going to bring that to you on this stage. So starting tonight through the 29th, uh, tickets available, very reasonably priced. Uh, so you can bring the entire family because they should all see this. DMPA. Org. Of course, you can always stop by the Civic Center ticket office or you can simply call 515-246-2300. Is there a particular moment in the show you look forward to every night? So lately I've been, it's changed. Um, it, it's exciting. Uh, lately I've been loving this scene in Act 2. It's when all of the acting troupe has all gathered together in this pub and they're finally releasing their inner child. And it is so exciting to be on stage with all of these members of the ensemble and just go kind of crazy. Oh, well, there yeah. you go. <laughs> Look for the fun madness that's about to ensue starting tonight at the Des Moines Performing Arts Civic Center. Kelsey, thank you so much for joining us thank this morning. Thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing Finding Neverland. Find your inner child. We felt it a little bit around the holiday season, but let's it continue on as Broadway is back in town, courtesy of Des Moines Performing Arts. Check out more information and get your tickets at dmpa.org.